As construction of Karuma Dam nears completion, government will soon embark on building high voltage power lines to transmit electricity generated to different parts of the country. We are going to build those three lines, one to Kawanda, one to Olwio. To Olwio is going beyond. One leg is going through Nimule to Juba, the other leg is going through Pakwaj, Navy, and Arua. However, the State Minister for Energy has revealed that the people living in areas through which these power lines will be constructed will be called upon to offer their land to government and wait for compensation later. All these lines will need to pass on land, on people's land. Allow the project to go on. Make sure your property which is destroyed is recorded. The government will come and pay you. Dujang was speaking during the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of a permanent employees camp at Karuma on Friday. From there also we need to connect the other East African country because the countries of East Africa have agreed to have interconnection. Dujang's statement comes in a wake of a controversial amendment bill that seeks to allow government take over private land for such projects even as compensation is still being negotiated. The minister also revealed that 500 million shillings had been set aside to compensate Karuma Primary School, whose land was taken over by government to allow the construction of Karuma Dam. The Karuma Primary School, we have put for this year 500 million shillings to refurbish the primary school. The children of the school had earlier staged a demonstration demanding for the school's land to be returned. The construction of the dam has transformed the areas around Karuma into a beehive of activity where the standards of living are steadily improving. It has become now too expensive how the way how people are living within here. The population has become too much higher and everything is now becoming too expensive. 